Hi everyone. What this tutorial is going to be about is how can you make it so your InDesign documents always opens up in the unit of measurements that you'd like. So for instance, the default is going to be PICAs all the time, but maybe you get tired of changing it per document setting. You want to go ahead and make sure it's centimeters or in my world, inches every single time. So this is going to be a tutorial about how to make sure whenever you're opening up an InDesign document, it's always going to be by default, the unit of measurement that you like. So I've already opened up InDesign. I'm actually going to close this window. You want to make sure that you have no pre-existing projects open. So this is something that you'll do probably upon the initial uh, setup of your InDesign. I'm going to go to InDesign preferences, general, and here's just a, a slew of preferences, but I'm going to go down to where it says units and in increments. Here it is. So I can go ahead and choose my horizontal and put that in inches and put this one also in inches, my vertical axis, a uh, stroke. I want to keep that in points, all that good stuff. Um, and the origin, this is going to be basically, is it always going to create a spread, meaning it's going to be something that's geared towards a multi-page document, or do you want to just do one-offs? Maybe you're a person that just only makes posters and only makes flyers, uh, then you'd probably go for just the page. Um, but I think I'm, a, I'm okay with keeping it a spread for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now let's start a brand new document. So from here, I can either hit Command N or Control N um, as a new um, if I'm on a PC, but we're on Macs today file new document. Oh my gosh, you guys, is it going to be? Yes, it's inches. So I don't have to do too much to my settings. Everything is already by default inches. Another thing is I can always turn off like this is that spread feature and can turn off facing pages. So when I have my create document, boom, I'm ready to go. So that's a small tutorial of about how to change the increments of measurement that you're going to use or the units of measurement that you're going to use when creating your InDesign documents uh, so you don't have to set them every single time.